One of the challenges we face in Southeast Asia is a rapidly changing society. You have people moving from the rural areas into urban areas, and that's causing shifts in, in the ecology, shifts in the way that, that the people are raising protein sources, and shifts in the environment. All of those are causing a perfect environment for the development of new emerging infectious diseases. In building capacities within the government, both in epidemiology and in laboratory, we've been able to get the Ministry of Public Health to identify patients who might be at risk for having Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, MERS-CoV. This is a very deadly SARS type of a virus. At this point in time, there have been three imported cases in the kingdom. Those are patients who were sick in their home country. They flew to Thailand to seek care. They immediately were recognized as possible case of MERS-CoV, were isolated, and then the epidemiologists responded to that outbreak investigation. There's a number of countries around the world where that kind of scenario did not play out, that they were not recognized as having MERS, and that subsequently other people were infected. One of the things that CDC does by having forward deployed staff is to prevent epidemics from spreading by stopping those outbreaks where they occur. CDC and the Ministry of Public Health are gonna to continue to work on global health security. There are threats out there, there are unknown threats, and that's one of the reasons why we're here, is to put those systems in place so that we can detect those threats before they become a big problem. This is important not only for Thailand, not only for Southeast Asia, but for the world.